Now the first thing you should understand with Biostim is because it's a natural product and you're dealing with microbiology and a specific ecology that's developed in your dam, the dose rates that we give you are, are purely guidelines, they're starting points. What you should do is, is do your application, monitor your results just anecdotally, having a look at the algae, the odour, uh, whatever it is that you're trying to treat, just the general condition and health of the dam, and just adjust your dose over time as you need to. My sort of general recommendation is that you, you treat for a year and then reassess. The goal being over time, your dose rate becomes less and less as your system rebalances. Because they're guidelines only, what's on the label might work for you straight away and you don't need to adjust. Or if you're worried and you, you, you've got a really nasty situation and you might want to start off with more to start with and then do a higher monthly um, top up dose or maintenance dose if you need to. So you kind of, you still need to take our advice but then be led by how the dam's behaving at any given time. Now the powder dose rate is one and a half kilo per surface acre to start with and then 500 grams per month thereafter. Each one of the satchels is, is 500 grams so it's easy to, to weigh out and measure out. Don't be scared about any of the Biostim products putting in a larger dose. You cannot overdose with this stuff. It's non-chemical. You could put in the whole 20 kilo when you only need one and you're not going to cause any harm. You might get cloudy water because of all the bacterial activity that will happen but it's not going to harm anything. When it comes to biased in pallets or biased in tablets, the suggested starting dose rate is 10 kilo per surface acre and then five kilo per surface acre per month thereafter. Again, adjust based on what you think your condition of, the, of your dam is. Now, there's a difference between the pellets and the, and the tablets based on the formulation and some of the, the strains of bacteria. Um, so although they've got the same dose rate, the tablets are a bit more intense. So you'd probably expect to get a better result out of the tablets. But again, just dose according to what you think. With the liquid, the recommended dose rate is one litre per million litres of water. Again, you don't need to worry if you go over that, it's not going to harm anything. Uh, it's a good idea to dilute the liquid, uh, biostim liquid, with uh, just with water, regular tap water, um, or you can just use your dam water. And it's not necessarily uh, to dilute it from a, a concentration point of view, it's more um, what you're trying to do is, is spray the water out as evenly as you possibly can over the, the entire water body. So let's say for argument, sake you had to um, put in five litres of, of product and you had a half acre dam, um, what that means is that you've got to spread five litres over half an acre, which is quite an effort. So you probably dilute it at about nine to one, ten to one, and then so you've got physically more product to go over a, a wider area. Now when it comes to applying the powder, it's simply just tossed straight into the water. Ideally, you'll throw it out, if you do have aeration, you'll throw it out where the aerators are or close to it. If you've got a waterfall or some moving water, you might chuck it out near there. Otherwise, you just walk around the perimeter of the dam and just uh, toss it in at, at various locations. Don't be worried about the packet that's on the uh, outside of it or that it's contained in because that packet is water soluble. It's going to break down in the water itself and the product will just um, distribute out. You also don't necessarily, with any of the Biostim products, need to be too particular about where you put them in because the idea is like if you get a cut in your hand and you don't treat it and it gets infected, the bacteria will spread. Similar sort of concept with the Biostim in the water. Once it gets in the water, it's going to spread throughout. But it is a good idea to, to distribute it uh, evenly where possible. With the tablets and the, and the pallets, the application is that you, um, uh, you literally just walk around and, and chuck it in. It's just like feeding the chooks. Um, if you've got a boat and you want to get out a little kayak and, and distribute it evenly, then yes, by all means you can do that. But again, going back to what we said about the bacteria will spread, if you want to just walk around the perimeter of the dam, you can chuck it in that way and that will um, hit the bottom and, and spread out throughout. Um, the pallets and tablets are also very good with targeting localised areas. So if you've got a problem child of an area where you get lots of algae and, and weed growing, put a bit more in there than what you would in the, in the other areas of the dam because you can clean up um, specific areas. When it comes to applying the liquid, you can use a firefighting type pump and spray if you've got one. You can use a battery powered sprayer that you might have on your quad bike or something like that to, to spray out. Um, you don't need to mist it, you just put it on a, a like a jet spray and just walk around and um, or ride your bike around and um, spray it off into the dam that way. If you are going to use a sprayer, um, type of equipment, just make sure these, yeah, it's really well rinsed so that you're not getting any nasty chemicals going in there uh, into your water, especially if you've got fish. 
Uh, you can also then use a backpack sprayer with the Biostim liquid and the same deal, just walk around and, and spray it out as best you can. If you don't have any spraying equipment, you can potentially put it in a watering can and, and distribute it around, or you can just go old school, put it in a bucket and either pour the bucket around the perimeter or just chuck the water in at various spots around the dam.